Hey everybody, welcome back to Growing Organic. All right, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a pH test. Now I got this little pH uh, testing kit from my local grow store. And uh, the reason you wanna test your pH is because you won't be able to uptake nutrients if you have the wrong pH. You can see here, now this is, a, this is called a Mad Farmer testing kit, pH control kit. This is about $15 or so. You can get digital meters uh, that will also read the pH, but I got this one. Now what comes in this package is, first you have um, the pH adjusters. This is up and down. So if, if uh, it's too high, too alkaline, you wanna lower it with, with the down or um, it's, if it's too acidic, then you add this one. But for starters, I'm not gonna even use these ones because, you know, since this is growing organic, let me show you something here. This has ammonium, phosphate, phosphoric acid. I'm not a big fan of those two things. And if you read down there, it says 2% citric acid acidifying agent so really the trick to this is you don't really even need this I'm going to completely get rid of these two items right here because what you can do is you can supplement these right here for what I have here is a lemon so if you want to make your soil if it's too alkaline you can add the actual lemon so this is an organic way of adjusting your pH without having to use these chemicals. Even though it says right here, no dyes, no dyes. Well, I don't like the chemicals in here as well. So they have these ingredients that I don't want to use. So I can get the same results using this lemon. So most tap water is going to be pretty alkaline. So you can see here, it gives you the colors when you test the water. So in this little kit here, has everything you need, has a little vial. You can see I got this little vial here. And this is, is what you drop inside the water. So first of all, I filled a gallon up right here of water and you put fill this up halfway and then we're going to go ahead and put tells you right on here as well three to five drops I'm just going to do it four four drops Shake this up. Now also on this, on the back of this, it tells you right here, what we want to be at is about a 6.5, between a 6 and a 6.5 is ideal. So if you have, your pH is off, your, your plants are not going to look as healthy, it's, they're not going to be as green, they're not going to be as vibrant and they won't be able to uptake the nutrients. So we want to get this to the right level. Let's shake this up again. So look at that. Now that is pretty green. So you tell me which, got, which one do you guys think that color is right there? I think we're at about a seven or an eight or even higher, 8.5. It kind of looks like a blue green. So we, it looks like we're pretty, really high. We're at like an eight, it's almost a blue green. That's like an 8.5. So what we need to do is, I'd be using this one, but again, we're gonna completely get rid of these two. These two right here, we're not gonna use these anymore because all we really need is the, the testing kit. Then we'll do the adjustment using our organic method. 
So these two items you can just pretty much dispose of. All right, so now we're gonna do another test. I've already kind of calculated how much it needs. We're gonna squeeze in some lemon into here. So now, what we're going to do is, see the, come, the package comes with this little um, turkey baster thing right here. So we're going to go and drink some of this up, squeeze this, and it fills up. Okay, see it fills that whole thing up. Now we're going to do is let's put that in, right in your, your one gallon of water. So once you kind of get this calculated, you'll be able to do the same thing every time. So I put in about 1.5. I need a little bit more. I need about at least two, two milliliters in here. So what we'll do now, we're gonna shake this up. Now that we got two milliliters of lemon in there, we'll shake that up and then we'll do another test with the water. So the lemons in the water now, Let's go ahead and four more drops in here. All right, let's put that lid on. You can already see that it's a lot more yellow this time. Shake that up. Now look at that. Look at how much different that is by adding that lemon. So that is the secret is using that lemon because not only is it organic, no preservatives, no chemicals for organic gardening, such as what we're doing here. So that's looking a lot better. I'm, I'm thinking that's about a 6.5. Yeah, it looks like about 6.5. That's about the range we want to be. We could even put a little more in if we want to get a little more yellow. Depends on what type of plant you're growing as well. You could be growing um, something such as blueberries. Certain plants will, will like soil a little more acidic. So make sure you find out what you're growing and what, what the best ideal pH uh, for your particular plant. But if you can get it around 6.5, 5.5 to 6.5, you should be okay. But again, research the plant that you're growing. So now we have an entire gallon here that has pH adjusted. And this is just tap water that I have from my house, which is also filtered, but filtration doesn't adjust the pH. So you have to adjust the pH. This is a big game changer. Get your pH right. So you're gonna have much healthier plants by doing this. So really all you need is to keep is this pH tester right here and uh, this vial. So I figured out I need about two to uh, two and a half milliliters of the, uh, the pure lemon juice per gallon. So that's a good way each time I, I do this I know how much to put in here so you don't have to test it every single time because tap water is pretty much gonna stay the same pH. So now I can put these away and uh, water my plants with this. So try that out. And if you're wondering why your plants are not quite as healthy as they should be, it could be because of your pH. So let's go ahead and water some things with this. See, we got some snap peas over here. I'll just give a little bit to all these some carrots. So I'm not sure uh, if every tap water around is it's got high a high pH, but you're gonna want to test your individual water. Most likely, it's gonna be a little bit too high if it's coming from your tap. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Hope this um, helps you guys out. This is a big game changer, so make sure you check, check your pH, adjust your pH, 
and you should have even more success. And also make sure you're starting with good filtered tap water, or good filtered water. I have tap water, but I go through a three-stage filtration system before I test it, so very important. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click like, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.